Ocean Monarch is in Bermuda this particular day. My friend Neville Buckley, assistant second steward on board the ship, and I decide that uh, it would be uh, good to take up the offer from a couple of Canadian friends who uh, have a seaplane. Uh, aerial taxi service in Hamilton and uh, off we go to see how Ocean Monarch looks from the air. These were the pictures I took. That looks like the uh, Princess Hotel pool right there. And here we come looking for a patch of open water and try to avoid all of the boats that are always going back and forth across Hamilton Harbor. But we have a good pilot and he makes it safely down. Quite an exciting trip actually. Uh, this was my first experience of flying in a small sea. Here's my friend uh, Neville Buckley, uh, the uh, assistant second steward of Ocean Monarch, getting out of the plane. And here's myself, Keith Hallett. I was a steward on the Ocean Monarch in 1954-1955 uh, this made for a very exciting afternoon and uh, I remember it well It's sailing day from St. George's, Bermuda. Looks like some of the locals have got their crisscraft out and a water ski show is to begin. Beautiful speedboat. And the water skier seems to know what he's doing. Uh, Ocean Monarch moves out into the harbor and uh, the tugs are in position so that we can sail out through the gap channel. Always many spectators come to see the ship leave.
Here comes Ocean Monarch. Beautiful ship. Lovely lines. And that good looking uh, Furnace Bermuda funnel. Black and red stripes. Now we're on our way to Nassau in the Bahamas. Here's uh, Ocean Monarch at anchor off of uh, Nassau and uh, looks like we have to go to shore on a tender this time. Apparently there was another ship in the harbor and we couldn't do it. Here are some of the lads, Bill Dwyer, steward, friend of mine. This chap's getting a ride in the dinghy. That's me in the center, Keith Hallett. Just giving you a wave there. Looking forward to some good times in Nassau. I think I gave the camera to Stan Bud to take those uh, few shots. Here we are arriving in Hamilton, Bermuda again. I see the cathedral up there in the background. Looks like some sightseers came to check us out. Here's our dock on Front Street. Real handy for the shops and the local pub. <laughs> goslings for our rum horse and carriages still available in those days Looks like we've arrived in Hamilton just in time for the Queen's arrival. She's visiting the island and uh, I believe we may see her in her carriage. There's Ocean Monarch at her dock. The flags are flying today. All the Bermuda schoolgirls are in attendance. Queen's carriage is due to arrive very soon. We used to call those, call those the Bermuda Dorables. Lots of Bermuda police force on hand. 
couple of friends there from the uh, Elbow Beach Surf Club. I think they were plumbers. <laughs> Lots of plumbing to take care of at the Elbow Beach Hotel. Here comes the Queen and the Duke of Edinburgh. Gives us a wave too. Big day for the children, they get a day off from school. Royal Navy detachment there, on parade. After all that excitement, I decided to retire to the reefs on South Shore Road in uh, Bermuda. Good place for a nice gin and tonic, I might mention. Just a beautiful spot. Here, uh, Ocean Monarch is back in New York. I believe uh, Pier 95 was the Furnace Bermuda Line Pier. There's the Empire State Building in the background, Cunard Pier. And here it uh, looks like we're on uh, Central Park. Central Park carriage ride. New York police cruiser. Remembering all the good times from the 1950s in New York City. This is the Central Park Zoo. Nice place to visit on an afternoon. Especially at feed-in time. Here we see St. Patrick's Cathedral in New York. Beautiful church. 
Here's Rockefeller Center. Waterfall. And I believe that's where they have the ice skating rink. Now we're at the top of the Empire State Building with a good view of Central Park. Chrysler Building. St. Patrick's Cathedral from Aerial View. And now it's the nighttime on Times Square and Broadway with all of the neon. Quite a wonderland in its day with all those animated signs. Bond clothiers where you could buy a suit of clothes at four o'clock in the morning if you wanted to. I believe they were open 24-7. Some of the movies playing at the time. Private Hell. Chevrolet sign. Canadian Club. Chevrolet. Paramount Theater. Oh, that's where Private Hell was playing. Brings back lots of memories, I can tell you, these shots. Marlon Brando on the waterfront. And don't forget your Budweiser beer. Clark Gable in Betrayed and Jack Webb in Dragnet at the Victoria. Scripto pens. My favorite, Planter's Peanuts. Goes good with a rum and coke, as I remember. Cinerama. Yeah, that came in the 50s. Don't forget your Pepsi Cola. Sylvania light bulbs. And those wonderful Florsheim shoes. There's the Cinerama. And the Latin Quarter, that was a good place to visit, I remember. Good shows. Jack Dempsey's Bar, that was famous. Jack Dempsey was the boxer, boxing champion, I guess. I hope you've enjoyed this glimpse back into the 1950s. It's been fun for me to put it together. Bye now.